this is lesson 71 B is in boy in algebra 2 continuing on with the quadratic formula and we're going to do example 71.2 all right so okay so there's the equation so first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the formula down so negative B plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac. Remember, it's all over 2a, not just the square root there. All right, so we're going to set this up by setting it equal to 0. So notice I moved everything to one side of the equal sign. And again, that number 1 is my a, there's my b, and there's my c. All right, so let's plug the numbers in. Um, uh, my b is negative 3. Don't forget to take the whole negative there. Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 28 all over 2 times 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this a little. I guess I don't need a plus sign there. Plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 times tw negative 28. So that's going to change to a plus. So that would be 112. And that's all going to be over 2. So 3 plus or minus square root. 112 plus 9 is 121 over 2. Square root of 121 is 11. Alright, so there is my, my problem. I guess that's not quite right, is it? Here's my answer so far. So no, notice this is 3 plus or minus, so that means we have two answers, 3 plus 11 over 2 and 3 minus 11 over 2. 3 plus 11 is 7. 3 minus 11 is going to be negative 8 over 2 or negative 4. So notice what happened here. I get two answers for this problem. I get a 7 and a negative 4. Now if you remember clear back at the beginning, see if I can get us up there, there we go. Clear back at the beginning, this problem right there, what is my exponent? A 2. That tells me that I'm going to get two answers here. Okay, so those are my two answers, 7 and negative 4. Now in the first example I did, if you remember right, let me move stuff out of here and put down the answer that we got on the first example. Remember we got an answer of one third plus or minus the square root of 14 over 3i. That was our answer. Notice we still have two answers. We have one third plus the square root of 14 over 3i and one third minus the square root of 14 over 3i. So I get two answers, but I represent both of those answers since they can't be solved or factored into a nice number like 3 or 4, or in this case negative 4 or 7. We leave it like this, and that tells me I have two answers, one third plus, one third minus. Okay, so I did have two answers there. So that's lesson number 71. Now the key thing when you're doing these is make sure that when you get an answer or a number for b like 3x squared minus 4x minus 13, when you write this out, this is your b, right? So you've got negative b, negative b, b is negative 4. So don't forget to put that negative twice. Okay, and that's a, a big deal there. And the same is true when you have the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Don't forget to square the negative, which isn't really that big a deal. But minus 4, and your a is 3, and your c is negative 13. Don't forget to take this 13 
this negative there and put it there so that this then will become a plus. So those are the couple of tips there to help you with that. And that's it for lesson 71.